Hi, I'm Andrew Gillis from Sepro Mineral Systems. This video is a short excerpt from a longer video series about gold recovery for milling circuits. I hope you enjoy it. So practical considerations. We'll take each of these one by one. So location within the milling circuit, we talked about this a little bit in the first video. Traditionally, these have gone in the underflow. However, the more modern placement is in the feed for a couple reasons. Now, the first reason is the efficiency of the unit. Now, we talked about how this isn't, you know, the hugest thing as long as the cyclone's operating well. But one of the things we have to definitely keep in mind um, when it comes to the percent solids is the screening. So we're going to talk a little bit more, more about screening here, but you are probably not going to get extremely efficient screening with a heavily loaded screen and 70% solids. So what that effectively does is bypasses the concentrator if you're not able to screen efficiently. So we've got the concentrator here. Uh, the gravity concentrator underneath the screen feeds coming on it needs to go through the screen to get to the concentrator but if we're just tossing gold particles over uh, and they're bypassing the concentrator you, you're not even going to get a chance at them so for a couple reasons one screen efficiency and two concentrator efficiency we want to get that concentrator in the feed because it's a more dilute stream and we can get closer to this you know 45 50 percent solids range especially once we you know include the the spray water for the screen we can get this to a really good point where the concentrator is going to be efficient the screen is going to be efficient and the the circuit together is going to be operating a lot better if you found this video interesting uh, please visit minerals.seprosystems.com to find the extended video series, as well as additional shorter clips addressing specific points around gold recovery from milling circuits. Thanks very much for watching.